This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com. What's up, you all? Dobbs Wars is right here, and welcome to February. I know what you want to know. This is the month of love, passion, and everything that is all cringy. <laughs> Yes, Valentine's month it is. You guys know it. If you guys have a loved one and you want to tell them how much you love them, please go ahead and do it. But, but for, for the first time of this month, please check out geekretreat.com. I love this place and hopefully you guys love it too. Please check them out. They are awesome. The staff are ace. The people who go there are awesome. The Thomas are awesome and also the singles that they get are insane in the membrane. They got themselves an alternative artwork of, of Dragon Knight on for sale. And it's quite cheap for what it is. It's worth way more than it is nowadays. But if it's still there, definitely pick it up if you guys have the money for it. But anyhow, Yu-Gi-Oh! Today's pack opening is something that I've wanted to open up since it got released and as you guys know this is pre-recorded This is getting recorded right now if you guys want to know in November in 2021 So yeah, it's 2022 February, but this has been pre-recorded for quite some time But as you guys know one of my favorite cartoon movies the road to El Dorado Yu-Gi-Oh has called out to the gods and made maximum gold El Dorado the gold rush continues. Now this set, now a lot, a lot of people say that this set is lacklustre in cards. Do I really care? Not really. Do I like to open up gold packs? Yes I do. Now you may be thinking, what am I hoping to pull out of this box? Now I only bought two of them because there were only two left in the store, in the shop. In Geek Retreat, so I got really, really lucky because I was a bit late for this product to be honest because I was extremely busy. So I got really lucky and I got my la the last two. So I might be lucky, and these might be the amazing god packs of all. But like I said, I keep one sealed and I open up the other one for you guys because I love you that much. So let's go ahead and try and crack this open. And it is a really nice box, to be honest. I like it that it, it's like the old game board boxes that they had for Legendary Duelist. I mean, for Legendary Collection. Which is nice. But they do like keeping them sealed for very, very nicely. But I tell you what, props to Konami for making an amazing box, to be honest. It's very nice. It's just a shame that it doesn't have a window, so it won't be kept for myself. But anyhow... There's four packs, there's seven cards per pack, the first editions, so that's something for you guys to get excited for, because if they're a non-edition, they'd be worth less, as you guys know. But anyhow, four packs, what am I hoping to pull out of this set? Now, to be honest, I don't know anything about this set. I don't know any of the cards except for uh, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, and Dark Magician is in this set. I don't know what else is in this set, and like I said, the prices will be variant every single day, so whatever pops up right now is how much it's worth at this moment in time. It will be different every single day. So there is 98 gold lettering rare cards, and you get 5 in a pack, and then there's 54 premium gold rare cards, and there's only 2 in a pack. It's a massive set, it's really big. Without further ado though, cue the music, let's see what we can pull. Now we are going to take a little bit, not, not too long, but take a bit of good time. We got Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, a very nice card. We got ourselves the Yang Zings, I don't really care about the Yang Zings, but they are, I've heard that they actually are quite good to use. We have Micro Coda, good cybers. Oh nice, we got a Prank, ki prank Kids uh, Bow Wow Bark, it's a good card. Then for another one, we got Ultimia um, Tukilin. I remember having this as a fake a long time ago. It's actually quite a good card. And there we have... Ooh, we got an Invoked Mechabar. Not bad card. It's a good card for the Invoked, for the Invoked deck. And next... Nice, we got ourselves the Alambarian. Never seen that card. It's a Cyburst card, so it's quite new to me. But nice. Good to good... Good gold red cards right there. So let's go ahead and sleeve these up with our chocolate brown sleeves. 
Now, I will be sleeving up as well the gold letter writing because they are the gold letters and they go into a separate binder besides the rares because they're gold ones. So, it's good to, understand, good to know on where they stand, if you know what I mean. So anyhow, how's, how's your day been recently, people? Because I've not been really recording as much as I have been because, you know, with schedule recordings and a lot of stuff that I've been doing recently. But like I said, though, hope you guys have been having a great day. What have you guys been doing? Have you been doing anything good? Did you have a great Christmas and all that lot? Uh, oh, 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 nice. Urgent schedule. Nice. Another cool reprint. We got Giant Rex. Cool coffee dinosaurs. We got El Delixir of White Destiny. Okay, for zombie monsters. We got nice. We got M7, a classic card, quite an expensive card back in the day. We got White Dragon Reimburster. Oh, 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 Golden Lord! Oh, wow! I was not expecting to get him today. We got Elder Lich. I've heard this card was quite a good card. Don't remember how much it's worth, but it's nice to see it. Oh, baby! <laughs> it's good to have an, an old school card, but one of the best. We got Regeki. All right. I'm sure this card could be worth something in gold rare. That is beautiful. That is nice. A gold rare Regeki. Oh, wow. That's nice. Oh, I can't believe that. That's actually, I think that's one of the best cards in the set, I think. Because that card is so damn broken, as you guys know. You play that card, it destroys all the monsters on the opponent's field in one foul swoop. So he doesn't care if it's a Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes Ultimate, the Egyptian Gods, whatever it is. That Regeki card is that broken, it destroys them all in one go. It's insane. So that's really good to have. I'm sure that's the most expensive card at the moment that I've pulled. I might be completely wrong. We got Code Talker. Good to have this card. I first got this as a Japanese card when I was in Japan in 2018. We got, uh, is it 2018? No, 2017. Number four. Good reprint. We got, um, I know how I had to pronounce that name. Whatever. Oh, we got. Um, don't um, do 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 <laughs> the prank kids card. It's a good card. I like the prank kid cards. They're pretty cool. We got LHD Mad Golden Lord. Wow, these zombie cards are quite strong. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Tempest, the Dragon Ruler of Storm. Awesome. And the next card. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. You can't have a gold rare card we got without gold sarcophagus. That is good. I'm happy with that. That is a good gold rare card in my eyes. If you don't have a clue what that card does, pretty much you play that card, you put any card you have in your hand or in your deck into the gold sarcophagus, you wait two turns and that card comes straight into your hand or on the field, depending on how you play it. Now, like I said, that's my old ways of remembering that card. I think the rules have changed for that card because I think they have changed the wording of the card. But I still remember it playing it like that back in my day when I used to play in tournaments, playing professionally. But like I said, that's that ship is full on sailed. I'm retired from dueling professionally. So, yeah. <laughs> Final pack of Destiny. Let's see what we can get. Oh, right, right from the get-go. We get ourselves the Phantom Knights of Break Sword. A great reprint. Very happy with that. We've got the Weather Cloudy um, Canvas. Cyber's Gadget. That's cool. we got Hitter, the Fire Chamber, a Blaze. Cute. we got Prank Kids Fanzies. Um, Fancies. That's quite cool. Hey, Rescue Cat! Wow! A great card. Old, an old school card for GX and the end of the first series of Yu-Gi-Oh! That is awesome. And the last card? We got ourselves the Mystic Mine. That's not bad. I love these cards. These are really, really nice. Do I think I might be getting some more of these? Maybe. But like I said, maximum gold sets can be pricey. But luckily, these are a lot, lot cheaper than the last ones they did. Because the last ones 
with 34.99, 35 quid for for four packs. This one is is about 20, uh, 26, 27 pound, which is actually reasonable enough. But like I said, if you do pull the good cards, you will get your money back. But like I said, over 54 gold rare cards, and there's only four packs, so that means you only get 10 gold rare cards. You may be lucky to get something good, or you could be very unlucky and not and get nothing. But anyhow, before we say goodbye, let's see what we pulled for our gold rares. We've got Mystic Mine, Rescue Cat, we got Tempest, the Dragon Rule of Storms, Gold Sarcophagus, the Great Regeki, we've got the Golden Lord, we got Alamantine, and the Invoked Mechaban. If you guys enjoyed it, I surely did. Hopefully you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. It always helps me out. Comment down below on what you think about this this set. Do you think it's good? Do you think I made profit? Do you think I haven't? And with that being said, please check out geekretreat.com. They are awesome. With that being said, the people I'm to goes to you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh man, Gold Sarcophagus, Rescue Cat and Regeki in one video. You can't go wrong with that. Let's go! I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Oh! Oh!